Now for today's episode, I am gonna do a little bargain shopping at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, see what steals and deals we can find. I do need to find a new phone case, so hopefully we can find one of those. You know, it's a lot cheaper going at TJ Maxx and Marshalls than just, you know, buying it at the Apple Store or anywhere else versus. So I'm gonna hopefully find a new phone case, bring you guys along with me. Let's hope we find some steals and deals. Let's get it, guys. Just found this Stussy Stussy hat, but unfortunately it's broken. It was on clearance for three dollars. I was planning on getting it, but it's broken sadly. There's no other ones either. I can't believe these are still sitting here. They're discounted to fifty bucks now, forty-nine. I think I'm gonna pick up one just because, like, I've always wanted one for personal. I think I might pick up the yellow one though. The white with the yellow. They have a white with the yellow right here. And I'm gonna post on my Instagram to see if anyone wants me to proxy him. So you guys have known before that I've come to a Marshalls or TJ Maxx and for some reason, I'll say it's a red tag, for example, but I'll go to the manager and say, hey, is there any way you can scan this to see if it's a yellow tag? Now, for the people who don't know, yellow tags are like the last discounted price, basically. It goes to red, then it goes to like a double red, then it goes to yellow, I believe. So these North Face have been sitting for months, honestly. Like, you guys have known that these have been sitting. Like, I, I haven't been to this outlet in a while. So I'm gonna go up to them and say, listen, is there any way you can scan them, see if they're a the yellow tag? If there's a yellow tag, I'll literally buy every single one that they have. They have six of them right here. So I'll say, listen, these have been sitting for months. If you give me a yellow tag discount, I'll buy them all. If not, then I'll just maybe take one for personal, or I just post on my Instagram to see if anyone wants me to prox me them, but uh, let's see. But I'm gonna quickly look around first, and then towards the end is when I'll go to the manager and say, hey, is there any way you can see if these are discounted more? So funny, like the knockoff Gucci with like the embroidered tigers and like the multicolored uh, collar. Got the Hudson knockoff little bape. Even like it goes down. That's kind of cool though, Rio. With the Brazil, Rio, like the shark. I wonder if the ticker is coming back. Been seeing them all over the place, especially TJ Maxx. It's crazy, like all of it's just like retro stuff. Like TJ Maxx is now just filled with the retros. Friends. Nothing too good lately though for the clothes. Or at least the clearance section that is. Let's see for clearance shoes. Adidas, size 13. How much are they though? Uh, $32. Then these have been sitting for a while on almost like every TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Got some Sperry Birkenstock styles. I've never seen this before. Oh, it's not Sperry. My bad. It's like a bootleg. It's just I thought the Sperry at the bottom, so I got confused. What are these? Some Tevas. The sole wasn't so big, I'd maybe get these for Percy's, but the sole is huge. I'm actually rocking my new uh, Suiko sandals today. I don't even think they have these in my size. I don't, no, the biggest size they have is 10. Yo, tell me this isn't the Yeezy 500. Like, this is crazy. It literally looks like it. Like, the front of it and everything. Adidas. It's called the Champ, S Champ. Never heard of it though. It's pretty sick. If I wore shoes, I'd probably think about copying it. Just it's a clean black and white shoe. Some New Balance 574s. This is like their Nike version, I feel like. Pretty sick. Whoa, these are crazy. And look at it. It's called Crazy BY. BYW. These things are just insane. Oh look, they have a tan colorway of the bro, I'm telling you, these are like just like the easy uh, 500s. Adidas Alpha Bounce, 50 bucks. Well, we checked the clearance, now let's see what's sitting in the regular section. This is what I mean by they're bringing back everything. Look at this, Carl Canny, Carl Connie. As far as the regular section, it's kind of just filled with regular polo stuff. Nothing too crazy. A lot of the Tommy Hilfiger stuff is gone. You might just remember they used to always have a bunch of Tommy Hilfiger stuff, but now it's just like Polo, Michael Kors. See, it's all Polo Ralph Lauren. 
All right, I'm gonna try to ask the manager and see if they can try to scan this if it's a yellow tag or not. Well, they didn't discount them anymore. They were $49, $50, so I put it on my Instagram if anyone wants me to proxy them, but I'm not gonna get it. You know, I always use my Tumi backpack, so I don't wanna spend $50 on a backpack that I don't necessarily need right now. But now, let's go hit up TJ Maxx. Let's hope we have some better luck there because we sh didn't find anything at Marshall's. Now for TJ Maxx, let's see if there's anything else good sitting here. Usually this Marshalls is better than TJ Maxx, so I'm not planning on finding anything, but let's see. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty sick all over. It says it's a 2XL also, like all over champion. I low key might grab this just for the Percy's. I love like oversized fit, or maybe I'll just sell it. I don't know, we'll see. But I've never usually seen like all over print like that. Heritage Athletic Apparel. This Adidas skateboarding shirt is so sick. I love it with like the little logo as the rider. Skateboarding. Champion spot, little uh, basketball shorts. As far as the hat section for TJ Maxx, the only thing I really see that's like catching my eyes is Adidas EQT. It's pretty sick, it has like a zipper around it. I'm not sure exactly why it has a zipper. If there's like a pocket on here or what. Let's see, retail it doesn't say. They want $10 though. Let's find out what the zipper's for. Uh, okay, so it's like a little uh, back neck shade for the hat. Pretty sick. Damn, I'm low-key really mad. I just found these super sick floral Nike SB mesh like gym shorts. Unfortunately, they're a size XL though. It's huge. I probably need like a small medium. I want these for Percy so bad, but I don't think there's any other ones sitting. Fuck. These are so nice. So the good thing about like TJ Maxx's Marshalls is they always have iPhone cases and they're so cheap. They're like $12, $13 versus like $40. The only thing is, is trying to find ones that actually fit your phone. But I actually found two. I found one that has the grip on it, which is like this. And then I found another one that's just smooth. Now the one I have, this is a spec case. It's just a smooth one, exactly like this one. But what I did was um, when I actually liked Supreme and I was buying it um, a few years ago when they did this undercover, I cut out the Supreme sticker and put it on here. And it's kind of been my case ever since. But to be honest, it's like destroyed. Like you could see the middle piece is missing. I just need a new case. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna grab this gray one just because it has the bumpers on the side. It seems really nice and just kind of give up a little bit uh, different. I was trying to see if I could find this black and red one, but they only have it for the iPhone 10. So I'm gonna quickly see if I can maybe find a different color, but if not, I'm just gonna probably get this gray one because the gray one's nice, it's super neutral. Well, I found two of them. I found a gray and the white. The thing is, I think the white would just get dirty after use. Now, granted, it is plastic, so it's not gonna get horrible dirty. I could probably just scrub it off, but I think I'm just gonna go with the gray just to be better safe than sorry. Look at these iridescent, like, uh little side bag adidas what's kind of funny about this or what makes me think like it's funny is that louis vuitton virgil came out with a prison bag that's like five grand and it's like the same material same like shininess it just doesn't make sense how like you can literally find similar products for so cheaper last time i showed you guys this polo ralph lauren bag 225 uh at tj maxx for 80 dollars. but look at this one this one's super nice all plaid patches with like the little navy hits how much was this one this one retailed for 225 also and it's 60 dollars. so this one is 80 dollars, and the one that has more stuff on it is 60 dollars. it just doesn't make sense this is pretty sick adidas like three stripe backpack adidas adidas super crazy adidas tie-dye shorts Never seen these before. Uh, they want 20 bucks, original price was 70. It's kind of crazy. Then we found these Adidas EQT. These are actually the Parlay, but the only thing is there's no pockets on it, which kind of make it useless in my opinion. And then look at these, Adidas like loose fit, like iridescent, has the zippers going all the way down on each side, just super strange. Got the Adidas Rain Champ, $60 retail. Pretty nice shirt. Like a gradient. Mochino or Moschino, 50 bucks on clearance. Oh, Let's see, Invictus. Gold with the blue, gold with the blue. Mickey Mouse one. This is the 2XL on. I think I'm gonna leave it. I was gonna get it, but yeah, I have so many other shirts that I'd probably wear before this. It just doesn't make sense to get it. Kinda cool though. The lighting in TJ Maxx though. 
Like this is what I need in my house. This little light, this is amazing lighting. So I tried on these Nike shorts. They're so unique. Like they're like an iridescent and I thought the zipper went all the way down, but if you unzip this, it has like a layer underneath. So sick. Look at this case filled with sunglasses. I've never seen so many. They're all basically Ray-Bans. Some are Armani, but basically Ray-Bans for like 40, 50 bucks. And then look at this Gucci bag. That thing is so sick. I wonder how much it is. 1400. Damn, as I was about to check out, I saw that they had more cases over here and I found this black one with the blue. I think I'm gonna have to get that, it's so sick. It seems like it's almost like thinner. It's like a matte black versus a shiny also. Let's see if maybe I can find some other colors sitting here like this pink one. No, iPhone X, X. Uh, they have the gray with the blue versus the gray with the black, but I still think this matte black with the blue uh, is probably gonna be the best. Let's see, they have a all navy. Now if they had a yellow one or like a black with yellow accents, oh man, that'd be too perfect for me. So I'm grabbing the phone case, the Adidas pants for the personal, and then a pair of underwear. Oh yeah, this new phone case is so nice. It's like sleek too, the matte black, the blue gives it a little bit of accent. So much better than that Supreme. Well, I finally made it back home, and unfortunately we didn't really have much luck. Usually we do struck out at Marshalls and DJ Maxx, we find some nice things, but today was just kind of a personal day. You know, I got some underwear for myself, I got a new phone case, and I got some shorts for my personal collection. So, it is what it is, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow at 8 p.m. for another video. Check the link down below, emcvlogs.com. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and don't forget guys, let's get it.